now we see the meaning of interval condition see in the previous case that is a point conditioning we have obtained the yeah that is the density function of y given x is taking value x now this x may take different values or x may lie in between two different values let a is an event in which x less than or equal to x and b is another event in which b is lying in between two different values here yi is not equal to y then the probability of a given b that is the probability of the random variable x given y is lying in between y and y is equal to probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b so which is equal to probability of x plus this x is less than or equal to x and y a less than y less than or equal to y divided by probability of y a less than y less than or equal to so this is equal to so how can i write this so this is the joint probability is it joint probability of this and this thing so can i write this as integral minus infinity to x integral y a to y b f x y x comma y b x b is it right there is a fundamental relationship between this and this and this is integral y a to y b this is f y of y so what is this this is the probability of x less than or equal to x given y is lying in between y and y y a and y understood this so here this is called the interval condition in the previous case we have written the probability of y given x equal to x is it a probability of x y equal to y that is we obtain the probability of one random variable given other random variable is taking a single value that is called the point condition but here the probability of x given y is taking or lying in between two different values y a and y follow so that's why it is called the interval condition that is the difference between point conditioning and the interval condition so this is also used in the evaluation of failure rates the both the point conditioning and the interval conditioning are used in evaluating failure rates we consider independent random variable independent random variables and what is the condition for independence of two random variables x and y so 
So here it is also same. Okay. We already know that probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. This is a B not equal to C. See, if A and B are statistically independent, okay. then probability of A given B is equal to probability of B. Okay. So this implies probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of See, if the occurrence of event A is not depending on the B, so probability of A given B, the conditional probability of A given B is equal to probability of A. Or that is if the B and A are independent, or if the occurrence of event A is not depending on the occurrence of event B, then they are said to be independent. Events. They are not dependent. Then this condition will be satisfied. Therefore, the probability of A in section B is equal to probability of A into probability of A. Understood? So this is the general definition of the statistical independence of the two events. Okay. Two events A and B are said to be independent if this condition is satisfied or if this condition is satisfied. See, if this is satisfied, this will also be satisfied. Otherwise, if this condition is satisfied, this condition will be satisfied. Understood this? Now, we extend this concept to the random variables. We already know that this fx given y, x given y is equal to fx y x comma y divided by f y of y. So the two random variables x and y are independent. Then fx y of x comma y is equal to x and y are independent. Then this fx y of x comma y is equal into fx of x into fy of y. That is, if the two random variables x and y are independent, then the joint distribution function is equal to product of the marginal distribution functions. See, fx of x is the marginal distribution of x, fy of y is the marginal distribution of y. Okay. So, this is a joint CDL. The joint CDL is equal to product of the marginal CDLs. Understood this? Or otherwise, what is the other, other way of defining this? fx y x given y should be equal to f okay. say so this is in the form of probability of a given b is equal to probability of a so if this condition is satisfied the two random variables x and y are said to be independent random variables otherwise f y x this is y x should be equal to f y of either way can 
either this condition or this condition are satisfied then the two random variables are said to be statistically independent random variables otherwise if the product of the marginal distribution functions is equal to the joint distribution function then also the two random variables are said to be independent random variables understood this so we are simply extending the fundamental concepts to the random variables first we consider one random variable now we are extending the same concepts to the two random variables similarly we consider the joint pdf so this is equal into fx of x multiplied with fy of y that is if x and y are independent then the joint pdf the joint pdf is equal into product of the marginal pdfs Understood? So if x and y are independent, then the joint PDF can be written as f(x) of x into f(y) of y. Or otherwise, this f(x) is equal to f(x) of x, f(y). This is f y. This is also. If this condition is satisfied, this will be satisfied. Or if this condition is satisfied, automatically this condition is because all the three C the joint distribution function, marginal distribution function, and the conditional distribution function or density functions all are related. See this the joint probability. elementary probability and the conditional probability all are related in the same manner the joint distribution conditional distribution and the marginal distribution all are related that is also applicable to the density functions is it clear x less than or equal to x2 y1 less than y less than or equal to y2 is equal to fx of x2 minus fx of x1 into f y of y2 minus f y of y1 show that probability of x lying in between x1 and x2 y lying in between y1 and y2 is equal to fx of x2 minus fx of x1 multiplied with f y of y2 minus f y of y1 if x and y are independent random variables do this 